Hey friends, I'm keeping today's video pretty simple. Instead of loading into the uh, special ammo playlist, maybe it's a good idea to upgrade your armor. In case you didn't know, the Grasp of Avarice dungeon is available to farm this week, and it is one of the few sources in the game, if not the only source, of artifice armor that is not only high stat roll, but also very spiky. If this is something you're interested in, then I would suggest getting a checkpoint from a checkpoint sharing service. Then, if you do want to one-phase the boss, I would consider having a team composition of a Well of Radiance, a Burst Damage Super, and a class that can weaken the boss so y'all do more damage to the boss. The Seasonal Artifact is very useful for this, providing benefits to the damage of your rocket, turning your solar abilities into a form of weaken, and empowering the super damage of your teammates. There are definitely better guides out there, but for a quick refresher, all you do is rally with your reserves, make sure you have as many rockets as you possibly- Yes, you're using rockets here. One Galahorn, two Apex Predators. If you don't have it, you can get the Apex Predator from the Wish Tokens from Marasov. But anyway, you drop a Well of Radiance where the boss comes out of that dark door. Then you immediately burst damage super the Vandal and the Shank. Pay special attention to that Shank because it goes back into the dark door becomes immune, then teleports out to the middle of the stage to snipe your entire team. If you killed the Vandal, it will drop a lot of engrams on the floor, deposit those into the middle crystal, and then start focusing on clearing adds, assuming that Sniper Shank is dealt with. You next want to acquire a Scorch Cannon from a Vandal that randomly spawns around the map, then shoot that at the power supplies to force engrams to drop off the ceiling. As a team, your goal is to collect 60 total engrams and bank them in the middle crystal. If you bank the initial 10, then really all you need is just two waves each, meet in middle, wait for the crystal to be built, pop your well right as the crystal is built, make sure your damage rotation is starting with some form of weaken, the Galahorn activation, then your damage rotation. Each class in the game has a lazy build and an effective build. What you see in the background is the lazy build. I'm using Sanguine Alchemy, so I can be using Armor Charge off the artifact for Godslayer Warheads while at the same time getting an additional solar damage bonus that doesn't go away. The more active setup involves using Reign of Fire with a very specific rotation without trying to fly too far backwards out of the Well of Radiance or making your teammates rocket themselves. Hunter has a similar setup where the lazy version is the Star Eater Scales and the active version is switching from Star Eater Scales during your super to Radiant Dance Machines and dodging around with a rocket launcher. For Titan, keep it simple, you want Pyrogale or a Caress so that you can kill the middle Vandal and Shank, not necessarily for boss damage, but that is also very good. Now fair warning, the boss likes to teleport at the very start of the damage phase, so sometimes you will miss out on your one phase opportunity if your team is not running hyper optimized setups, and then the boss will be 1 HP, which is normally a bad thing, but at least you can trick shot it. God! Oh, no. Anyway, friends, I hope this video helps you on your quest to acquire better artifice armor. I wish you the best of luck on rolls, and hopefully this video inspires some warlocks to start looking for groups, because we are in dire need of Well of Radiance users so that we could play our Titans and our Hunters. So, if you're a warlock, post in the comment section, post in LFG, you will find a team if you're a warlock. Titan and Hunters, good luck.